Yo, what's up guys? My name is Kevin aka Phoenix Game and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Well, this is not a Dirty Bomb video because, um, of course, it does not even look like Dirty Bomb. So, it's quite obvious, you might know this game, it's CSGO. I used to put a lot of videos on my channel about CSGO. There, there was a time when, like, I uploaded only CSGO. Well, it has been a while since I uploaded CSGO. Yeah. So, um, what better way to start the CSGO experience on YouTube once again with an Overwatch session? Because we don't want to be playing with hackers, so I'm going to download the evidence and uh, let's hope we find a hacker because I really want to kick these hackers out of the game and you'll really get it. It frustrates me a lot. Like, if you play CSGO and, like, a lot of CSGO, you might know what I'm saying because these hackers, they just annoy the shit out of me. Behind the scenes, I've been playing CSGO quite a lot because uh, right now I'm in Master Guardian 1 already. I've won 686 competitive already and I'm almost 1,500 hours into the game. That's a lot of like hours spent in a game. It's it's like I think 700 hours more than I spent in Dirty Bomb. That's how mad I was in this game. Like I play every day. Every day I'm playing Counter-Strike. Just that I'm not recording it. But... Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to, like, you know, upload Counter-Strike videos, competitive videos on Counter-Strike, then, uh, we'll see about it. You guys let me know if you want to watch competitive Counter-Strike, like, not the whole entire match, but, like, you know, of course I'll have cuts in it. Like, if you didn't watch my Counter-Strike videos, you can go ahead and watch them and let me know afterwards. Like, go ahead, watch them and comment down below if you want me to put, uh, competitive games or no. But yeah, our evidence is ready, so uh, we're going to be talking about this Overwatch session. So what is this basically? Um, you get an Overwatch case because this so-called the suspect has been reported enough number of time that um, he's acting a bit fishy. Uh, he might be cheating, which WAC apparently can't detect whether the person is cheating or no. So the, the CSGO devs, they just handed out to like, you know, the community to like, you know, review these cases and let them decide if they are cheating or not well we'll be seeing uh what map we're gonna be going on to and uh, we'll see if we find some hackers i'm really excited for this because i really want to you know find some hackers out there and make sure they get banned <laughs> all right we're starting off in the map called cash uh, it's the suspect they are currently losing 10 to 8 and the suspect score is at 17 to 11 with 3 assists, which is not at all a hacker score. Nonetheless, he is top scoring in his uh, team. He has he has a really good ping as well, so let's see what's up with him. There are x-rays on right now. He's waiting over here outside a uh, squeaky door. More like inside squeaky door. <laughs> waiting for the person to push. This is a really common spot to hold if you are aggressive. Ah, uh, wait. Well, can't really say anything about that, but I think there was a bit of aim lock. I'll play that in slow motion. Alright, that was a pretty simple shot. He has a bomb with him right now, which is a pretty, pretty uh, important thing. The terrorist should not have lost the bomb to him. Well, um, he is guarding the bomb... He might have had call out from his teammate that the last guy is an A side, that's why he's checking the squeaky door, or maybe his friend is checking the other angle. So now it's guaranteed that he is here in uh, blue door. And he gets the easy kill. Nothing too suspicious right now. Moving on to the next round, he carries the op, which is pretty interesting to catch hackers. Like, op is one of the easiest way to, you know, judge if the person is pre-firing or not. So, it's going mid now, changing positions. I like that. I like when a person plays, like, different positions. Especially while we're trying to, like, you know, catch hackers. If they play on the same positions, you just can't make out really well because he's pretty much doing the same thing all the time. Or... The T's, the enemies are coming in the same place all the fucking time, so this those are really good smokes. I got <laughs> those are really good smokes. Uh well they have a wall of smoke, so He heard the footsteps, he heard the footsteps, so I won't say that's pre-firing or something like that. 
the sight is clear for now. Okay, that's that's a bit of a pre-fire. That's a bit of pre-fire. <sighs> now, now I think that he might have walls. And why did the bomb go B first of all? These fucking noobs. What the fuck? Okay, the terrorists are coming in a forest by and he's going mid again with the AWP. Nice, that's interesting. Someone please peek him, I just want to see. Yeah, yeah, he has walls, guys. He has walls. Pretty sure he has walls. That pre-fire was so, so fucking obvious. It's so fucking obvious now. It's obvious. He might try to hide it now, but, uh, too bad. I'm reporting you for walls anyway. That pre-fire was fucking obvious. You're done. You're a done deal with wall hacks now. But let's continue on with the case. Let's see if he uses some more hacks as well so that we can ban this motherfucker and... Well, talking about ban this guy, the bomb drops and there's just one terrorist remaining. While we started this case, I think they were losing 10 to 8 now. They're gonna win 11 to 10, so... It looks good for their team, but it does not look so good for the suspect because he is gonna get reported for wall hacking and I hope the other people who are gonna review this case do the same thing. Also, let me know in the comment section down below if you think he was hacking or not. Maybe my opinions could be different because uh, the way I see it, I see it in the in the in the opinion of like a person who has played 1,500 hours in the game. You might have like 3,000 hours in the game. You might know better than me, but what I think it is like it's beyond a reasonable doubt for me that he is walling because I played this game enough to judge whether he's cheating or not. For now, he's just uh, wall hacking. Let's see if he uh, turns on his aimbot or something like that. Currently, all the T's are in their spawn. They're not moving. Okay, they just moved out now. Well, I don't know what they were doing in the spawn. They have a pretty weak buy. It's just Violet who has a decent buy out there, but without any nades, so... That's too bad. Well, the suspect gets tagged and he moves back. Pretty smart thing to do, waiting for the enemies. I think he doesn't want to give much away now, that's why he's playing a bit passive, but he is pre-firing and that's, that's a bad shot, dude. That's a really bad shot. My friend Luca could hit a better shot than that. <laughs> Luca, if you're watching this video, yeah, I just mentioned your name. Be happy about it now. Well, 4v3, 4v3 and two of the CTs are low as well. Damn, he's bad. He's so bad with the AWP. Alright, that was pretty easy shot. Oh, through the wall. He got tagged. Well, last guy remaining. And he's AFK. GG. The score would go to 12 to 10 easily. That was a fucking 4v3. Or even a 3v3 if you don't consider the guy AFK. Okay, he's here now. Alright, the guy AFK coming with Glock. Just a Glock. The time is up, bro. What are you doing? Look at that! Look at that! Oh, wait. Is this spinboarding? Yes, he's spinboarding! <laughs> LOL! <laughs> hacker versus hacker! <laughs> XD! <laughs> <laughs> LOL, Diamond is spinboarding! <laughs> Oh my god, this might trigger the suspect. This might trigger the suspect. The suspect might toggle something even better. That pre-fire, man! Oh my god, this was fun! Holy shit, the first Overwatch I get and it's a hacker. Fuck yeah. Damn, boy, you're getting banned. I hope someone reported Diamond as well because he's spinboarding the shit out of his life right now. And he's shooting through the walls. Wow. Fails a spin bot? What the fuck? Yep. Yeah. Fucking obvious. I told you guys before. He was like, not trying to keep it obvious, but now it's like freaking obvious that he's hacking. Look at that! What? <laughs> Stupid. Well, the team won again, so. Yeah. I would Negev now. Damon is with Negev now. Is he really gonna spin bot with Negev? Oh, God. Gabe and bless this game. Holy shit, how many hackers is The hackers in this game is so annoying, like it's to the point that you really wanna quit the game.
But on the other hand, you love the game so much because of of the you know competitive scene of it. But when hackers come into the game, it's just so fucking annoying that you just want to leave the game. Like, damn, <laughs> hackers hacker was his hacker. Diamond has a much powerful hack than the suspect over here. But I don't think so. Diamond is aware that the Negev first 16 bullets of the Negev is highly inaccurate. It does not shoot the place where your crosshair is placed but after that it just shoots like a freaking laser meanwhile the suspect gets a, an assist see diamond would die because the negev spray pattern is like the first 16 bullets is just so bad you can't do anything with it it's so inaccurate well at this point i i, I might fuck. does he have a trigger bot as well because well, I'm not pretty sure about that, but about wall hacks, that's pretty obvious now. I don't know about trigger bot. With the op, can't really say much about trigger bots. But yeah, nonetheless, he's gonna get reported for wall hacks, and the other people who are reviewing this, if they report him as well, then he's gonna get rack banned for sure. Meanwhile, I think this is gonna be the last run of this case. Diamond is still with Negev. He is a big noob. Even after hacking, he does not even know what gun to use. Fucking hell, use a scoped weapon or an AK-47 if you're hacking already. Look at that! <laughs> He's afraid of diamond. You, you see, even this guy, the suspect, might not know the uh, spray pattern of uh, the Negev. Meanwhile, diamond actually kills someone and he, he gets taken down. So yeah, this is pretty much... <laughs> what? Okay, he picks up the bot. Bot also has an op, so that's pretty good for him. Well, the last guy remains. Suspect is fighting for his MVP. Where the fuck? Okay, he's gonna go plant in B site. Violet is gonna plant in B site. But this is pretty much a done deal because it's pretty obvious the suspect is hacking. Even Diamond is hacking. Holy shit. This is like one of the very few cases you find that you have a hacker versus another hacker. Yep, he got the defuse and 16-10. Uh, they were losing 8. 8 to 10 and now it's 16 10 okay he's allowing his friend to defuse that's pretty kind of you but nonetheless you're still gonna get reported for wall hacks yep the case is over holy shit the first overwatch case i come back to do and i get a hacker that's pretty pretty uh, amazing to be honest like it it makes a good video it makes pretty uh, the video gets pretty interesting at some point well i hope you enjoyed but uh, this is the whole result what we got to submit uh i don't think so he had aim lock so there's insufficient evidence our oh, vision assistance which is uh in other words wall hack i think uh, not i think i'm pretty confident that he had uh wall hacks evidence beyond a reasonable doubt other external assistance such as bunny hop or spin bot well diamond was having that but not this guy so i won't report him for that and not even griefing so i would submit my verdict also if you think I was wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about these hackers in this game. If you have not yet played this game, you should go ahead and try it, and it's pretty awesome. So, thank you so much for watching this video, and uh, I, ho I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you leave a like down below by that I can know you enjoy CSGO videos, and not just Dirty Bomb videos, because I've been posting only Dirty Bomb videos. I really want to change a variety up. Back in the day, I used to play a lot of CSGO. I grew my channel based on CSGO and Dirty Bomb. So, I'm thinking to come back to it. Not really sure right now. I would have like a few videos, of course, uh, planned. Like playing ranked matches. I'm going to be uploading those. So, let me know in the comment section down below. Again, I speak this so much because your comments mean a lot to me. I read literally every single one of your comments. And I also reply to all of your comments. So yeah, make sure to comment down below and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.